Okay, here we've got a Yamaha F60, standard four-cylinder, four-stroke, 60 horsepower Yami. Just doing the internal anodes. So you've got one over here, just in the top of the water gallery. Then you got one, two, three, and four, one next to each spark plug. So to get them out, you just need a 10 millimeter socket. And undo this bolt here. Comes out nice and easy. Don't lose your little cover piece, put that aside. And then we grab and give it a bit of a wiggle. Now comes your anode. Put that aside. I've got a little sealing washer here, so I'm going to grab and pull out. Fairly easy to come out, just a bit fiddly. Out she comes. Get out our torch. Be a bit bright that one. Get out our torch, have a little look inside, make sure there's no little bits of anode floating around. Because I put grease on this last time, this is all nice and clean in here, no corrosion. Just give it a quick wipe to get all the little bits of old grease out. So here we are, have the internal anode, you'll see just here there's a bit missing, that's why I'm replacing these anodes, I don't want pieces falling off and ending up in the water galleries and blocking things. Grab that, 8mm socket on the other side, out she comes. Just for your information, here's the uh, part numbers for not only the anode but the special seal that goes around it. Pretty easy, just a reverse of what you've just done. New anode on, bolted onto the housing. When you put this little um, sealing washer, make sure the tapered edge is facing forward. That way it'll go into the hole nice and easy. And we just put a wee bit of Yamaha Marine Grease on there to help it sit nice and smooth into the hole. Just pop your little anode in there, give it a little whistle. That grease is helping lube it into the hole. Get your bolt and your 10 millimeter socket. Start doing that. I'm sure that this little cover you keep over the top there. without being too firm. Bob's your uncle, we're done. Interesting point to note, as always the bottom anode is the most corroded. As I was getting apart it fell apart. Look fine. Up here at this end there was a um, bit of a large section missing and it just fell apart and went all crumbly. And if you look on the inside it's like it's turned into some sort of honeycomb on the inside. So good job that we uh, replaced it now.